Well, we're here at the Circuit of Americas in Austin, Texas, baking under 100 degree heat and getting the first opportunity to put the Red Bull Formula One car on the track. It's not normal for us in Europe to be driving on dirt. I know there are certain American race series that uh, experience that, but uh, I've had a couple of times up and down. It's uh, certainly a circuit the drivers are going to enjoy. A lot of elevation change here. Well, I think that one of the big sells here and one of the big asks to try and make Formula One popular in America is that you've got some great racing series here already. You know, NASCAR is a huge series, IRL if you want to watch uh, open wheel racing. But what I would say to those who don't know about Formula One is Formula One is the fastest car that goes around a, a road course. You know, it might not do the top speeds of uh, NASCAR or IRL. It could if we took the wings off, but we have the wings there to push the car into the ground to generate downforce. Uh, and it's the pinnacle of technology. You know, that's the reason why people like Mercedes-Benz, you know, Infiniti, uh, you know, Renault, all these guys use it as a proving ground to, uh, to try and develop new technology. You know, it's all carbon car, 750 horsepower, V8, 2.4 liter, uh, 640 kilo car. So not a lot of weight there. Yeah, there's no question that Red Bull are way ahead of the game here. You know, they've brought this car down to, to Austin a year, more than a year ahead of when the Grand Prix will be here. We had four more minutes. Well, I think that from, from the fan perspective, I think it's going to be something that American fans are used to. You know, we're a stadium society uh, where you can see most of the playing field, whether it be football, baseball, or basketball, um, even NASCAR. So I think that this track, with the east side of the track being elevated to the west, is going to be one of the few road courses in the world where you can see multiple corners that I think fans will enjoy that. Um, and then I think we're going to be able to accomplish building the closest thing to a traditional old old school Grand Prix track from the 50s and 60s with the elevation, with the fast corners, with the technical corners. Uh, unfortunately, we have a lot of FIA requirements that, that uh, safety requirements, but I think that that's the one thing, the one characteristic that all the drivers and riders that come here are going to say, man, that's, that's, that's an old school type track.